Now that you've added soft bodies to your creature, it's time to get them ready to be rendered. And if you've ever uh, rendered out particles, you'll always have to cache the particles so either your render farm or your motion blur settings will come out accurately. There's nothing different when working with soft bodies. You have to cache the particles. So let's, uh, for example, select the particles on this little guy's head. Okay, and I'll show dynamics. And I hid those, so I'll just show hidden. All right, so there's the particles. And what you'll go to is the solvers create particle disk cache. Okay, there's the directory that you're going to create. And just hit the create button, and that will go through every frame and create particle data that can then be shared with other systems. Okay, now that that has cached, my playback is a lot slower, but I can jump through the timeline and get an accurate result of what's where it's going to be and at what frame it's going to be at. So now that I can save this file, send it off to get rendered, I can render it with motion blur, everything is going to come back just fine because I do have that particle cache. And one thing to keep in mind, if you are going to render over a network uh, using a render farm or something similar, make sure that this cache file can be read by other, other uh, systems. So on your folder here, particles, make sure you give this a name that is on a network directory that can be found.